Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Divinity Original Sin on PC. I am going to see if I can find more abilities for Wolgraph or not. I'm also going to go to the crime scene as well. <coughs> so let's go there. And let's investigate stuff. Plus we have more NPCs to talk to as well at the tavern, so yeah. On the market, it seems. All right. Let's talk to this guy and see if he is. Come here. welcome to the King Cabin. He's not. He is not the person. Let's go up here and see if anyone up here might be our person we need to talk to. Citizen, citizen, open door. Open the door. Uh, I don't see. Maybe these guys are. Greetings, greetings. Ah, oh, you okay. are most welcome in my chamber. Customers rarely find me up here, but I do so abhor the hustle and bustle of the marketplace. Borrow action points from your next turn. You'll have less action to spend during your next turn. Become air. Only take half of all physical damage dealt to you. Make a target decay so that it cannot be healed by magic or potions. It will be damaged instead. Oh. Destroy summon skill book. That's cool. Rapture charm a... Viminous Strike requires a dagger. Oh, dude, again, poison enemies. That's nice. Okay. Trip skill book. Precise incision. Dude. Walk in shadows and fast track. Dude, he sounds like fun. Wow, okay. Two hundred percent chance to heal thirty one vitality. And it also hurts them.
drain. Yeah, so I don't think these are really worth getting at all. But these ones, dude. How much does he have right now? Novice, adept. Okay, so he can only have a couple more of novice, right? Yeah, he can only have two more and then one more adept as well. Okay. How gratifying to see you return. You are quickly becoming my favorite customer. That I am. I have spent more of my life on the road traveling alongside great caravans than I have in any given place in the world. <coughs> All of this earth is my home. For a few days, or even but a few hours at a time, that is. You wouldn't believe some of the things I have seen. Oh yes, a city besieged by the dead isn't even remotely special to me. All the better that it isn't for you and for me, because outlandish events lead to outlandish wares. You have seen them, have you not? Is anything amiss? Ponchon, perhaps, yes. I have the blood of sorcerers in my veins, and between you and me, the blood of sorcerers, too. The power of sorcery is so very alluring, you know. But let us change topics, for should hunters catch a whiff of my inclinations, they wouldn't hesitate to kill me where I stand. You'd be derelict in your duties. Sorcery is like an incurable disease. If it's in her blood, all we can do is put her down. She dies, you hear? Or do I need to brand you a traitor? No, no, we'll do as I say and there's an end to it. Gods have mercy. I talked openly about sorcery in front of a source hunter. What a fool I am. Thank you, O Compassion. I don't want to lose her wares. Treat me so leniently. I never have and never will really dabble in sorcery. On that, you have my word. On my life, I swear it. No need to worry, Source Hunter dearest. You'll find. How gratifying to see you return. You are quickly becoming my favorite customer. I already have stuff like that. Unfortunately, she does not have any better armor. That might benefit him, but then again, it may not. Poison deals poison damage over time. That is true. If I can. This one doesn't really seem like it's worth it. Because it doesn't do a huge amount of... Yeah, in 10 turns for cooldown, not worth it. Nope, I'm good. So he can have two more novice abilities, huh? I mean, poison for four turns is actually not bad. And weaken as well. 44 to 71. Dude, yeah, that sounds like fun. I'll buy this. And then I will buy this one as well. Oh, man. Sc 
skill. I want this one here, skill, and this one here. Dude, this is gonna be fun. Oh man, yeah. 63 on a high roll, 38 on a high roll. Oh um, yeah, he's gonna be, he's gonna be strong. Walk in shadows. Ours. <laughs> mine, mine, and mine, mine, and mine. Actually, I'll take that. Yeah, dude, I'll take that and raise you a. Dude, I love this skill. It is so handy. Oh, this skill is wonderful. Oh my goodness gracious, this skill is wonderful. Oh man. It has a long cooldown, which sucks, but I find it fair as well at the same time. But... The magical stuff we can do with it. The magical stuff we can do with this ab ability. And we're out of there. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Okay, let's do this. I want in there. I want those chests. I want those chests. Oh, are you serious? I can't like... Perfect! <laughs> Oh, they can still get through. Maybe. Maybe. Does he not have any? Or is it not high? Is he not high enough level for it? Hold up now. Why can't he pick it? He has level 2. Why can't he pick it? Unless it doesn't actually count. Okay. Well, whatever then. That's weird. It doesn't actually count. Huh. Okay, I guess I need to get him more... Lockpick then. Interesting. Or the game's bugging out. Either way, who knows. Oh, come darling, don't dither. You must speak with Mendius and join the Fabulous Five immediately. I so long for us to realize our true potential. Side by side, spirit by spirit, heart by heart. 
Or you and the king crab before. You're gonna welcome to scratch me behind the ears if you like. I won't scratch back. I am Unsinkable Sam. At least that's what they call me around here. He used to be a ship's cat, but the clipper I was on sank, and I was the only one to wrestle himself free from the waves. But the people here were kind and took me in. Been the king crab's foremost patron ever since. A magnificent ship she was. Used to belong to a pirate, I was told. Unlike me, she didn't prove Okay. Well, we hit the cliffs right neath the lighthouse. Not very apt to name for that building. Cool. Say, for no That's place. pretty, um, different. Do I seem like the soldier? The moment I hit the water, I writhed around like I would on a hot tin roof. By some miracle, I managed to reach the beach, covered in kelp and smelling worse than a fish's funeral parlor. But I was alive, and that was more than anybody else could say. So I was. What friends I had. They drowned alongside the rats I used to hunt in the galley. And there I was, all alone. Not that I have it bad here, mind you. I milk and fish aplenty. Most folks will pet me kindly, and when one of the village girls holds me tight against her ample bosom, I purr up a storm. But I do long for a companion of my own kind. And in that regard, there is no one like Maxine. Maxine, the mayor's darling pet. So gentle, so fair a feline. The grace of her whiskers, the subtle palette of dyes in her sable coat. She's one of a kind, that cat. She likes me. I know she does, but when I declare my love, she backs away. I don't know why, I have serenaded her and braved many a bucket of water for my efforts. But, for some reason, she is not to be swayed. By all means. Surely you met your match once or twice. All right. Purring sound. Ah, hello. I suppose you're here to viciously interrogate me for information. I it's very tragic news. I won't posture and say that the counselor and I were anything near allies, but I truly never wish the man harm. I am the Duke of Ferrell, though I suppose my name is in the mouths of enough ruthless gossipers that you've heard of me by now. Ah, hello. I suppose you're here to viciously intend. I am the Duke of. It's very tragic. I sort of concerns myself with such things. You'll be concerned enough when you realize that reward money won't be lining your pockets. Ah, pointless chatter with stranger. Zim blood up! <laughs> Greetings, traveler. And may the Immaculate Conduit's myriad blessings comfort and cradle you. You mean you haven't heard? Oh, what fortune that I may share the goddess's salvation with one who has, as yet, been lost. Uh. Steal yourself, friend. For your mortal spirit could be forever transformed from this moment forth. The conduit, our link to the goddess herself, has given us a special gift. And the gift is thus. By following her instructions and becoming initiated into the one way, we can each of us live on for a span greater than the number of stars that twinkle within the goddess's right eye. 
What's in a name, dear friend? For we all begin equal in the conduit's eyes, and only through great deeds may enter into her inner ring. She came from on high to we mortals and showed us the path to the goddess, where all living souls are naturally inclined. Okay. She showed us that injury and malady need <coughs> to mark the end of life. But that through her methods, we could ascend to greater life in service of the goddess. Ah, for this hallowed information, you must seek an immaculate chapel. Go north, friend, through the forest and into the town of Silverglen, where all may be revealed. There, among her followers and friends, dwells the goddess's ecstasy, her one way. Go on the path to the righteous, my friend. Forget not that the conduit has great plans for you. Okay. <coughs> he sounds like a freaking lunatic, but whatever. Have we talked to Esmeralda yet? Yes, we have. Okay. Have you ever had the fortune we have all of these quests to do from this one town. They say he's privy to ancient oh yeah, we can go get that as well. Oh. Oh, hold up now. We can go get this one item right there in front of us. Okay, hold up now. Unidentified item. <coughs> well, we can now maybe go back. It's three, huh? Okay. Now let's go back and see if we can go in that door or not. Now that we have a higher level, we're gonna go down here. Okay. To leave the city is to venture into danger. Be careful, Source Hunter. Well, of course.
So I want to go back into that building right there. See if we can go in this door or not. Oh, we've not been in here yet. Well, now we're going in here. <laughs> we did get a necklace of some kind. Let's identify this. Nineteen. Okay. Well, I might give that to... Okay, stop touching my hand, please. I don't want you to touch my hand. Dexterity and intelligence. Okay. Um, more dex for him is nice. But what... Would dex benefit him any? Would intelligence... It also helps with defense rating, okay. So no, I might just give that to him then, in general. Just for more damage and yeah. No. Don't do that. So that would hurt everyone. Okay, so I gotta be careful with those then. I'm gonna have him do a solo up here by himself. He still can't do it. So that one must take a key. So yeah, he still can't pick that door at all. Interesting. Is there another way into there, I wonder? Hold up, I'm curious now. Actually, no. I'm curious now, actually. Out of sight, okay.
Now, why can't he pick it? He has lock picks. Okay, so it's a bug. How is it too low? Oh, okay. Oh, so okay, okay, I see that, okay. I thought the armors I had on gave lock picking. They don't, okay. <clears throat> Do I have any armors that give No, okay. That's fine. Okay, whatever then. I thought I could... Okay, no mind. <clears throat> Fair enough. It is what it is. Alright, I am going to actually... Who has the highest leadership right now? Okay. No, nope, never mind. <clears throat> I'll give you that one then. Because it's better. I don't want to lose the initiative. I really don't. All right, cool. All right, let's go ahead and do this in here. I believe we've already talked with everyone else but this. Greetings, Source Hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Aureus' explicit up. Not exactly the friendliest bloke, the captain, is he? Well, your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Enjoy. Pick up inert stone. It's official. The Duke of Feral is the worst poet in Rivalon. In his defense, not much rhymes with murder. So what does that say? Let's find out. Dearest Esme, your lips are as red as emeralds, your hair is black as birch, your love is like cholesterol, and oh my heart, it hurts. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. I want to hold you in my arms and stroke your little head, and all this would be easier if count- okay. I mean, I'll take the money. Church, um, 
<coughs> All right, let's talk to the Duke of Feral or Feral. Ah, hello. I suppose you're here to viciously interrogate me for information I don't have, like our noble Captain Aureus before you. It's very tragic news. I won't posture and say that the Counselor and I were anything near allies, but I truly never wish the man harm. Surely you've met your match once or twice. Which one? I've written, Esmeralda, more works of lyrical mastery than I can count. All that letter proves is my devotion to my lady, not any actual intention to do away with Jake. Not an actual intention. No. Yeah, no. He has intention. We never did search this stuff, did we? Now we can. I will take that. Do I still have those on me or did I put those away? I put those away, I think, or I never... That was a different save, never mind. That was a different save. Fair enough. Actually. <clears throat> I might just sell all of this stuff because I'm not gonna use it. Because I wanna stick with, what does this do? Oh yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to use that or not, honestly. I don't think we can use this, can we? Let's find out. If if one person can't use it, yep, no, I can't use it. Then fair enough. Yeah, I might just sell all of the arrows and I'll keep the grenades on me, maybe. Uh, I need to start using this stuff too, in battle. I'm gonna give him some stuff actually, hold up. I mean, yeah, I'll take that, sure. Can we use this yet? That's level two. <coughs> Compare. Ours is better. Okay, so we don't need that at all. Okay. All right, cool. I will have to sort all of that in a bit. I'm gonna try to sell some more stuff though. Well, what sort of arrows do you want? Freezing, silver, poison? to the point. Quiet day on the market. Lock seems. picking. That's better for him right there. He doesn't need telekinesis. I don't need this. I don't need this. Quiet day on the market, it seems. 
I don't need this. Quiet day on the market, it seems. I don't need this. Quiet day on the market, it seems. I've heard you the first time. You don't have to repeat yourself. Quiet day on the market, it seems. Okay, so that one is better. Freezing, silver, poison? Get to the point. Come on, you chicken. Mine are bad, her. Okay. Quiet day on the market, it seems. Fucking cord, stop doing what you're doing, please. I'm tired of your crap already. I don't know why I have such a long cord, but I do, and it is just freaking annoying as hell. Come here, you piece of freaking crap. I don't want you touching my hands or my arms or my legs whenever I'm playing games. Because my autism says no. Go down there, you piece of shit. And just stay there. For frick's sakes. Oh my god. Stop doing your useless nonsense already. You are pissing me off. Just stop. Good Lord. <coughs> All right, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need that. Let me confirm that I don't need... Yeah, I could take that. <coughs> I'll take that. That's more armor for him. Okay, I'll take that one. Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. Get it while it's fresh. This batch is only out nope. of the sea. Well, what sort of arrows do you want? Freezing, silver, poison? Get to the point. Mm. Is more hope than a slice of this pie. Portions to be muscle you. Scrolls to intuscle you. Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. Mm. Okay. Herring, delicious dogfish. That's enough there for now. Let's talk to this guy and see what he has. Hello, proportionate one. Oh, I can see from the symmetry in your face that you are a great. Nope. Nope. Ah, oh, gracious patron. I see your tarred eyes looking a bit teary. I've just the potion for that. Or would you prefer a toasty fire spell to dry those vapors? She only has the one. I'll hold off on it for now. Okay. Let us see if you can 
by that. Um. <clears throat> I don't want to give up fire. I really don't. Nope. Nope. All right. Cool. Here for your daily serving of veggies. Please partake of the plumpest produce ever produced. Aaron has as many friends as the man with many cheeses. Cool. We're getting there. This town has seen better days, but this <coughs> What are ye staring at? Green, the finest veggies size fields ever seen. Well, yeah, I'll get white cheese, blue cheese, old cheese, new cheese. Mm. All right. That should be good, I think. Yeah. All right, yeah. Heavenly herring, delicious dogfish, yours for a scrap of gold. Watch the undead quiver in their moldy boots. Not in the mood for cheese. I don't need this at all. I do want to see what penny bombs can be used for. So, combine with. Need more crafting. Who's our crafter? No one is. Okay. Any takers? Come on, you chickens. Well, watch the undead quiver in their moldy boots. Aaron has as many friends as the man with many cheeses. Any takers? Come on, you chickens. I want to go into health this time. To go into <coughs> improves offense rating. Really? Okay. I might save this point, honestly. Yeah, I want to save this point. It seems definitely more health for him. He needs more health, and then for him, I'm going to do armor specialist for the extra three armor rating, and so that he can um, start using heavier armor. 
So now I can buy him heavier armor and it won't give him hopefully cool all right and i am going to put a save and a cut in the video here actually i want to do it somewhere else because these guys all right let's go up here here and then I will put a cut in the video. Oh, actually, you know what? No, I got an idea. <laughs> We're going to do something fun first. Yeah, I know. Never mind. All right, never mind then. We can't do that yet. What level do we need? Oh, oh, um, yeah, okay, um, okay. Let's go check the other door, shall we? <laughs> Whoops. Let's go check the other door. And there's Maxine as well. Cool. Oh yeah, we can do that now. We can do that one. Cool. Alright. We will come back in the next video. And we are going to pilfer all of this crap right here. On this table. Because yes. Yeah. I am going to do something fun in the next video and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to subscribe like and hit the bell for more and i will catch you guys next time have a wonderful day